hemolytic anemia is an hematologic disease look at this picture shows that signs and symptoms and premature destruction of red blood cells detail going on introduction hemolytic anemia refers to a group of disorders characterized by the premature destruction of red blood cells either within the blood vessels intravascular hemolysis or in the spleen or liver extravascular hemolysis definition hemolytic anemia is characterized by the premature destruction of red blood cells hemolysis leading to a reduced number of these cells in the blood causing symptoms of anemia such as fatigue types inherited hemolytic anemia one sickle cell anemia abnormal hemoglobin leads to distorted red blood cells two thalassemia defective hemoglobin production 3 hereditary spherocytosis red blood cells are sphere shaped rather than disc shaped 4 g6pd deficiency enzyme deficiency leading to red blood cells breakdown acquired hemolytic anemia one autoimmune hemolytic anemia the immune system attacks red blood cells two micro angiopathic hemolytic anemia red blood cells are damaged in the small blood vessels for infections certain infections can lead to hemolysis five medication some drugs can induce hemolysis causes one genetic mutations inherited conditions such as sickle cell anemia and thalassemia to autoimmune disorders the body's immune system attacks its own red blood cells three infections bacterial viral or parasitic infections for medications drugs such as certain antibiotics and anti malarials fight toxins exposure to certain chemicals or toxins six mechanical damage to red blood cells from artificial heart valves or humo dialysis risk factors one family history genetic predisposition to inherited types of hemolytic anemia to autoimmune diseases conditions such as lupus three infections increased risk with certain infections 
for medications use of drug known to cause hemolysis high blood transfusion risk of immuno reactions complications one severe anemia leading to fatigue weakness or pallor to jaundice due to the build up of bilirubin from destroyed red blood cells three gall stones from excess bilirubin for heart failure severe cases can strain the heart five splenomegaly enlargement of the spleen due to increased red blood cell destruction pathophysiology in hemolytic anemia red blood cells are prematurely destroyed faster than the bone marrow can produce them leading to a deficiency this destruction can occur within blood vessels intravascular hemolysis or in the spleen and liver extravascular hemolysis the breakdown of red blood cells releases hemoglobin into the blood which is converted to bilirubin causing jaundice the rapid turnover of red blood cells results in an increased production of reticulocytes immuno red blood cells the body's inability to compensate for the less leads to anemia reduced oxygen delivery to tissues and associated symptoms signs and symptoms one fatigue and weakness to polar three shortness of breath four jaundice five dark color during six rapid heart rate seven enlarged spleen or liver eight gallstones diagnosis one complete blood count cbc to assess the levels of red blood cells hemoglobin and hematocrit to peripheral blood smear to examine the shape and appearance of red blood cells 3 reticulocyte count to measure young red blood cells for bilirubin levels elevated in hemo lysis 5 heptoglobin levels decreased in hemolysis six direct compost test to detect antibodies against red blood cells in autoimmune hemolytic anemia seven hemoglobin electrophoresis for diagnosis hemoglobin nopathies like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia nursing diagnosis fatigue related to decreased oxygen carrying capacity of blood to risk for infections related to decreased immuno function 3 activity intolerance related to fatigue and weakness 4 ineffective tissue perfusion related to reduced red blood cell count 
5 risk for bleeding related to decreased platelet count or function management one monitoring regular monitoring of blood count symptoms to transfusion blood transfusions to increase red blood cells level three medications corticosteroids or immunosuppressants for autoimmune hemolytic anemia for splenectomy removal of the spleen in cases where it is excessively destroying red blood cells five folic acid supplements to support red blood cells production six iron supplements in case of iron deficiency treatment one inherited hemolytic anemia genetic counseling and supportive care two autoimmune hemolytic anemia immunosuppressive therapy three infections treat underlying infections four medications discontinuation of causative drugs five bone marrow transplant in severe cases like thalassemia psychosocial medicine one support groups connecting patients with others who have similar conditions to counseling for patients and families to cope with chronic illness three education about the disease treatment options and lifestyle modifications for patient advocacy ensuring access to necessary treatments and resources prevention one genetic counseling for families with inherited hemolytic anemia to vaccinations to prevent infections that could trigger hemolysis three medication management avoiding drug known to cause hemolysis four healthy lifestyle maintaining a balanced diet and avoiding excessive alcohol conclusion hemolytic anemia is a complex condition with various causes and types understanding the pathophysiology signs and symptoms and appropriate management strategies is crucial for effective treatment with proper care and support individuals with hemolytic anemia can manage their condition and maintain a good quality of life thank you have a wonderful day